I think, and this is just my humble little opinion, I think for a CVT tractor, I think this is one of the easiest CVT tractors to drive on the market. Hello and welcome along to another review from us. Uh, I've got to say I've been really looking forward to uh, trying this particular new tractor out ever since we saw it at the Lama Show earlier on in the year and we thought then we've got to get our hands on it at some point and here we have it, the new KSAH Puma 260 CVX Drive model. So those of you unfamiliar with the uh, Puma family, it's basically split into two ranges. So you've got your short wheelbase models and your long wheelbase models. Now up until this uh, new model come out, the long wheelbase models uh, ranged from a 185 horsepower up to 240 horsepower. That's rated power. Now, there is a new flagship model, which is this, the new 260 model. And basically, what we end up with the new Puma 260 is obviously, it's more power. With that comes more cooling. We've got beefier axles, front and rear, and we've got this all new cab taken from the Optum series, which is bigger, slightly roomier, more glass area, and as you can see, it's got this all new layout as well, which comes with the AFS connected tractors. Headline figures then. So this tractor is rated to 260 horsepower. Max power is 280 horsepower. And then when all the boost kicks in, it is just over 300 horse at 302 horsepower. So she's packing a fair old punch these days. As ever, if you are watching this video on one of our social media channels, unfortunately for you guys, this little video will run out in a few minutes. But as ever, fear not, head on over to that there, lampowertv.com to watch the episode in full. Also, wherever you're watching us, please don't forget to give us a like, give us a follow, give us a share, and please do subscribe. In particular, if you can dip your hand in your pocket and subscribe to LandPowerTV.com, that would be absolutely awesome. So, on with the review. And before we crack on and dive into this tractor, I've got to say a massive thank you to Malpas Tractors for sorting us out with the set of triple mowers. Those guys pretty much went above and beyond to get us all up and running, supplying the mowers, sorting us out with the power beyond couplings and coming out into the field and making sure we were all set up and yeah all good to go so a massive thank you to those guys also a little thank you as well to uh, sarah from uh, cornthwaite uh, machinery for bringing the number plate out to the tractor as well which is uh, always handy especially when we want to take it out on the road so there we go ladies and gents i think we shall now crack on with this review we'll get stuck into this tractor find out what she's all about and what she's like so we've got lots coming up hopefully weather permitting and i think without further ado we shall dive in right ladies and gents i think we shall kick off with the cab because visually this is one of the biggest differences from what we've previously known with the uh, Pumas up until now. So like I mentioned before in the intro, this new Puma 260 model gets the cab off the, uh, off the Optum series. So with that then, I think it's about 8% bigger than the previous cab. 
Uh, they tell me it's got 11% more glass area. And while those figures don't actually sound too big, I've got to say, it does actually make quite a bit of difference to the roominess of the cab and the sort of feel of the cab in terms of space. It is a bit longer, it's a little bit wider, and there's quite a bit more space down the back of the seat. One of the biggest things, I don't know whether it's a bit of an optical illusion, which is why the cab feels that bigger, bit more roomier. I would say it's got to be this new dash. So previously, uh, on the Pumas, the uh, the pillar dash was quite a long thing, and it come into the cab quite a bit. It was quite a chunky thing. Whereas this, this is much slimmer. It's a little bit wider, but it's obviously shorter, and it's set back a bit. But it is still nice and clear, nice and bold, nice and colourful. And like I say, I think that makes a lot of difference to the feel of this cab. And I think the materials that they've used as well, it does feel very light, very airy, very roomy in here, got to say. Also, another quite striking element of this new cab is this centre console, which again came with the uh, latest round of updates with uh, the Optums. But on this Puma 260 model, as you can see, it does look really smart. It's really well sculpted, the way that they've sort of designed it and laid it out. You've got those really nice vents laid out sort of across the top, underneath. Nice little leather touches down the side as well. It does, I've got to say it's got, I hate to say it actually, because uh, I think it's a bit of a crap phrase, but it does really, it generally has quite a premium feel in here. As mentioned, this new dash is, I do like it actually, that is definitely a step in the right direction for the Pumas. Just really easy to see the information, that primary information that you need to see quickly at a glance. It is all there for you. And then moving around to my right hand side, again it is all change, a big change for the Puma models. And I've got to say it from the off, after only driving this tractor for a couple of days now, hopefully longer, again, weather permitting, I do really like what Case has done with this new armrest control layout. I think the best way to sum it up is it's just a really great, sort of really natural evolution of what they had, uh, of what they had before. For you Case guys, you know, after five minutes, you'll you'll have this sussed out. They've just sort of kind of made it more ergonomic, brought it right up to date, looks a lot smarter, better finished off. They've just shuffled things around a little bit, but overall, I do like what they've done with this. So you've got your main control lever there, which again is literally just a nice, a really good natural evolution of the, uh, the multi-control lever that they had there previously. It is, it just fits a lot better in your hand, I think, in my opinion. 